all right so last time we were doing mm, i think uh, google ads we were doing i'll just check <coughs> okay the storage is not accessible at the moment so okay so do you remember which uh, uh what ad did we do last time yes sir mm, okay so which ad were we doing okay not a problem we will start so i'll just share my screen Okay, I hope you are able to see my screen. Yes, sir. Okay. So last time we were doing lead generation ads. So we had done lead generation ad, and today we will uh, start with uh, other ad. We will start with website traffic. So I create a new campaign. okay so we had done sales search ad and lead search ad so two ads we had done so now we are starting with website traffic so we can uh, select website traffic and uh, under that we have various ads so search ad we have already seen so there is no need to do the search ad so the procedure is same performance ad we will do once we learn the other ads because uh, say performance ad is the mixture of all the ads so now we will do display ad for uh, website traffic. So this ad is for uh, getting traffic on the website. So if I have a new uh, website, then in that case, I can promote my website and I can get more people to visit my website. So that is what I'm uh, selecting. So now I need to enter my website URL. and uh, then i need to provide the uh, campaign name so i will provide so in this case uh, i am using website traffic as the objective campaign type as display and uh, which website i am promoting so this website i am promoting then i click on continue and uh, over here uh, it say if you already have some campaign which is uh, not finished then in that case you can use this uh, so i'll uh, so right now i'll create start with a new one only so uh, yes 
<clears throat> so now I need to select the location where I want to run the ad. So the first one is all countries and territories. So for that, the budget should be very high if you want to promote your website. Uh, and you want to get traffic from worldwide, then uh, the budget should be very high. Uh, or else uh, India, so in that case, you also need to have good budget. Uh, other option is like you can select the uh, another location where you want to promote. So in this case, I would uh, select Maharashtra at this moment. So last time we had selected city Mumbai. So this time we are selecting Maharashtra and uh, after that uh, i need to select the languages so i want all languages so i will uh, uh, click on the close button for english and uh, then all languages will come up after that i select uh, more settings and then i need to provide the ad rotation so that is uh, of course the first option optimize so that uh, uh, we our best performing ads only will be running and the rest of the ads which are not performing will not be running so optimize prefer best performing ads only so that is what we are selecting then more <coughs> options uh, how uh, on what time do i want to run my ads all days 24 hours so i can select a schedule as per requirement say like monday to friday uh, maybe around uh, morning 6 am So yes, 6 a.m. to 12 in the night and on weekends, Saturday, Sunday. I can select uh, another days like uh, Saturday, Sunday remaining and that I can select 24 hours. So like this, I can add multiple schedules over here. After that, more settings. So then we have devices. So over here, you are seeing something new as devices. So on which all devices uh, do we want to run the ad? So I'll i can i select show on all devices but in case like if you want to show your ads only on specific devices then you can select this option set specific targeting default devices then like computers mobile phones and tablets now if you want to go deep into it then you can also select the operating system for the mobile device like android blackberry windows so if i select android then uh, in that case it will ask me the version uh, so whether all versions I want to show my ad or I want to show say uh, say from version 7 uh, version 7 to the latest version that is the current version so that I can select or the latest I can select 13 so I'll select current so that will uh, select the uh, 13 only so whenever we have uh, uh, any a uh, new version coming up automatically the new version will come up uh, okay so that is it and uh, after that mm, okay so after that what we select is uh, for blackberry i can select uh, then in that case uh, uh, we can select the version for that also so uh, but uh, if I select this option, then uh, in that case, uh, say uh, all other devices, my ads will not be shown on computers. It will not show. So only the tablets, uh, say mobile devices and tablets who are using uh, version 7 to the latest version, only those uh, 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 devices, the ads will be shown. So for that reason, uh, say, uh, we will not select this option and i'll cancel this uh, but in case if you have certain versions then you can select that then uh, device models so in that case you can select the uh, device models so if you select android then there are various devices of various companies so maybe you might say that you want to show your ads on lenovo or dell or any other uh, devices then you can select like like nokia and all those things and then you can see what select the models so like say suppose uh, i select uh, okay i select uh, oh, there are some some devices love uh, lenovo okay so under lenovo you can see there are different uh, models over here uh, so i can select any model also so in in that case uh, I mean the ad will go only to the models which I have selected but then all the models and other uh, uh, say devices with the same operating system will not get to see the ads. 
so for that reason i will not use this so why google has provided this option so this option can be used by the manufacturers uh, so in that case uh, uh say like uh, manufacturers they might uh, have a new version coming out or they want to roll back the devices then in that case they can uh, run the de uh, run this type of ad so or else uh, there is something specific related to those models then in that case uh, people can run those ad so right now i'm not selecting the models also and uh, then the network so if i select the uh, wi-fi then my ad will go only in on the uh, people who are connected with wi-fi but if i want uh, say on uh, data connection say like i want my ads to go only to the people who are using airtel or vodafone or idea or uh, geo like that i can select uh, those and uh, people who are connected with uh, data connection uh, with uh, these carriers only they will get it so i mean uh, if you want you can do that also but again if i use that then other people will not be able to see my ad so this is just for the uh, sake of seeing that okay what are the different options that are available in uh, uh, mobile uh, specific uh, targeting devices so for that reason uh, we are not selecting this at the moment because we don't have any specific operating system device models or networks to select i want to show my ads to everyone so i will select show on all devices so this is done after that i click on more settings and uh, then over here campaign url options we are not using then uh, dynamic search ad settings uh, that also we are not settings using so i mean of course if you want uh, we can use over here i can select dynamic search ad settings and uh, then i can select a feed so over here if this is a feed over here so this feed means uh, that uh, i have uh, i need to have uh, say like uh, the uh, ad this uh, say products on uh, uh, say google merchant center then in that case i can select that say for example over here i'll open uh, google merchant center mm. so i'll open google merchant center over here and uh, i can click on uh, this merchant center and then i can log in over here and uh, sign in to merchant center so this is the place where i can add all my products free of cost so this is a e-commerce website of uh, google and uh, all my products will come up over here so in this case uh, if i want to promote any products then first i need to add the products over here so over here in this all products but uh, say i don't have any products because uh, it uh, needs to sell only uh, tangible physical products which can be delivered to people uh, so my digital marketing courses comes into services so i cannot promote that but yes if i want to uh, what i can do is uh, if i want i can sell dvds of digital marketing course because then that becomes a physical product so then i can sell that so right now i haven't added so you can see this uh, id over here this is the same id over here that it is showing so you can see this is over here 3315 so let me see okay so you can see this is the same thing over here i have just searched uh, over here and uh, it is the same over here so it is the same id so my id is so since i already have a merchant center account over here it is mapped uh, with my google ads so i can use this so now in case if i have some products to sell then i can select this so along with my ads my products will also come up and uh, say if i am not doing ads and uh, i have added my products in uh, uh, this google merchant center then where will my products come up then in that case your products will come up in uh, google shopping so if i go to google.com then over here we have some shopping so say suppose i'm searching for a dell laptop so i can see this sponsored ad so i can get my ads over here also and uh, over here in the shopping tab whatever products you are seeing that is the organic products whatever you are seeing not the sponsored one but uh, the organic products that is in case if you are not doing ads then your products will come up over here 
so of course uh, even if you are doing your uh, the ads your uh, products will be listed over here also so we don't need to worry so this is the organic thing so this is one of the best place where uh, I, uh, we can connect over here and uh, we can uh, add our products over here and if we are doing uh, google ads then our ad will come up over here also in sponsored so this is the place where my ads can come up so i need to use a uh, dynamic search ad uh, the dynamic ad feeds so feed means the content that is coming up from some other website so that is the feed so right now if i want i can add this but i don't have any product so there is no point in using this uh, option over here so i will leave the dynamic search ads at this point of time and then the next thing over here is start date and end date so when do i want to start my ad so i will say that okay i want to start my ad tomorrow so tomorrow is uh, 29th so i'll say 29th and end date if i want to continue with the ad then i can say none and uh, if i want to provide an end date uh, then in that case i can also provide an end date over here so i'll say okay 15th of august so 15 20 days uh, 15 16 days my ads will run and uh, after that uh, i can select more options and then conversions over here so over here there is a say option but uh, say right now we don't have this option enabled so this kind of ad this option is not available so we can leave it so we can ignore that uh, option then we have content exclusion so show ads on all content or you can select where you do not want your ads to come up so say there are many things which are safe but uh, there are some sensitive content where i don't want my ads to come up say like uh, tragedy and conflict i don't want sensitive social issues i don't want my ad then profanity and rough language i don't want my ad then uh, sexually suggestive content also i don't want my ads to come up and sensational and shocking content also i don't want my ads to come so rest of the thing is fine so my ads will come up in all the places on all the device but uh, these type of content my ads will not come up so that is fine so after that uh, is there anything left okay so this is done so now i click on the next and uh, then i need to set my daily budget so i select 500 rupees over here and uh, after that uh, i need to select uh, the bidding option so i can select conversions for new option new accounts conversion and conversion value will not be coming only clicks and impressions will be coming in that place so it's not a problem so once your account will get old and once you start using it uh, you will get these options uh, available so now at this moment i will select uh, conversions because i want to get all the types of conversions i want to know that how many people are purchasing also so that is fine and uh, even the page views of the website is counted as conversion so i'll use this because i'm uh, doing an ad for website traffic so i want to know how many people have visited my page so this is conversion and then over here i have option that automatically maximize conversion so this is how do you want to get conversions so automatically maximize conversions or manually set uh, bids so if i set manual bids then in that case i need to provide that what is the cost per click uh, bid for the ad group that i want to set so i have selected 500 so from 500 how much amount i want to pay so in that case you can say that okay for per click you want to pay one rupee or two rupees or five rupees then you can select that so if you select 5 rupees then in that case uh, say you will get 100 uh, uh, clicks and uh, say people will visit uh, your ads accordingly so this is it and uh, say the best option right now over here would be to give controls to facebook and say automatically maximize conversion so i am selecting this option but still uh, even if automatically maximize conversion also if you want you can set a target cost per action over there it was cost per click so that could be a bit costly so over here i'll write uh, say maybe one rupee over here i'll write and uh, over here pay for interactions or pay for viewable impression i mean impression is uh, say only when people will see your ad on the screen without uh, touching that ad i mean you are not clicking on it you are not taking any action on that ad but uh, just you are visiting some website and you saw some banner uh, 
and uh, bus that's it so i mean uh, if you are just seeing an ad so that is a viewable impression but interaction is like you are uh, interacting with that so maybe you are clicking on that and going to the website and something like that so i'll select interactions uh, so over here you can see a typical target cost per action for display campaign is 210 rupees so if i select 210 rupees then uh, i need to apply that so 210 rupees will get deducted so out of 500 budget i will get only two uh, two acquisition over here two target cost per actions so that is what uh, i can select <clears throat> because that is the minimum rate so i had added only one rupee but uh, if you see over here it is 210 rupees so i have to follow that so this is the time where you need to know that what type of ad you should do and what type of ad you should not do uh, when the budget is low and that time you need to take care so yeah, right now say any ways we are not going to run the ad so i just click on apply so that's fine and then i can click on uh, next the other option instead of interactive you can select a viewable impression that could be, have been uh, uh, say a cheaper option so there you can put one rupee two rupees but for interaction it is costly so that's fine so after that i need to have the targeting option so i need to select my audience segment so i need to show that uh, who should see your ads so i need to select the people over here so maybe i can select from the past uh, audiences which i have selected or else i can search something over here or maybe i can browse so let's try over here something like uh, school so maybe some school might come up uh, or else uh, i can add a university or something like that okay so this is university so let's see if something comes up with university so if it comes up say like mumbai university pune university nagpur university so there are many universities in mumbai say in maharashtra we have selected maharashtra so in maharashtra there are many universities so i can select that pune also is having two universities the mumbai is having mumbai university then Nagpur University is there, so like that uh, I can select uh, some universities. So let's see what uh, options are coming up uh, over here. Uh, till now, yes, okay. So I can see information on success in college, then uh, college for adults, campus marketing advice, college safety information, student uh, dorms, University of San Diego. So, but this is in US. This is also in US. This is also in some other country. Now, so I cannot select that. Uh, Furman University, Banking and Finance. Mm. Okay, so college information, research universities. So, colleges I can select. University, college courses. Okay, even that I can select then maybe i can just select universities also then college campus or early childhood education no post secondary so i'm not getting uh, the type of uh, universities that i want uh, over here so let's see over here uh, education jobs cosmetology okay uh, over here i'm not getting what i require so for that reason i will not select this you know so whatever i've selected has already come up so now i can select something else uh, from the uh, past cards i can select okay so social media enthusiastic or mobile enthusiastic i can select and uh, something else also maybe like uh, a digital marketing i can select education jobs i can select online classes i can select on site training courses i can select digital marketing services no online marketing yes then uh, developer training courses so here okay training certification programs okay mm current college doing students high school students bachelor's uh, degree advanced degree i can select so okay so i've selected all these and uh, so i can also select purchase of helpopedia purchases of helpopedia 
so people who have already purchased from me so i can select that options also my adwords list and combined audience as well so all these i can select over here so this is my targeting option so this is done then let's see what other options so do i have so now we have uh, options like demographics that is their age gender and parental status so i can select genders all but age i can select uh, according to my requirements so like i can select from 18 to 54 uh, so i can uncheck the rest of the options so uh, my ads will not go to this age group now why i am selecting only up till here because these people are likely to do digital marketing course so maximum say around 40 45 uh, age of people will do this so this is fine over here and uh, then parental status so whether they are parents or not a parent so that doesn't matter and the household income can be all of them so that we can do and after that again we'll select uh, targeting options so now i have three options to target either i can target my ads through keywords so that is when people are searching for uh, related keywords or related uh, topics or uh, some places now then my ad will come up so that is keywords then uh, with topics so if i select topics then my ad will come up or else placement so here i can select where my ads can come up say on certain uh, say websites uh, which are related to digital marketing or say youtube channels which are related to digital marketing then uh, youtube videos mobile apps uh, apps play, play store apps app store apps uh, windows apps i can select uh, the type of uh, uh, categories uh, of the apps i want to select so these are the places so uh, i mean you can select any one or multiple options also can be selected but i would suggest that don't use all of them because uh, you are tying your ads so that is not suggested so right now i will select with the keyword so it will fetch all the keywords from my website so if i do not have a website then i can enter the keywords also so these are all the mm, uh, keywords coming from my website so i can click on the plus button so that keyword will get added over here on the left hand side so i will add all the keywords because these are coming from my website so i don't need to check them uh, but still in case if i want i can select them so this is okay so this is coming up automatically some latin harger harger property uh, so these two keywords i will remove because this is not related to it mm, okay so this is it uh, instead of cbsc i will select uh, digital marketing okay so this is coming up like this so i've selected all the keywords over here then i can also search for some keywords so i'll search for mm, digital marketing over here i'll select uh, digital marketing digital marketing course then uh, maybe i can select something else also okay but it has started to search but uh, yes i can see all these so i can select these all options also So I can select the keywords which are related to me right now and uh, say after selecting the keywords I can even type manually also if I want uh, I can just press enter and uh, in the below line I can select the keywords which are related to me. So like this I can add the keywords and uh, I can also type the keywords so at the end uh, I can just select this option over here and uh, I can press enter and I can type something. So like this I can use and then uh, this is the option that I need to select content uh, so that is only show ads uh, on web pages apps and videos related to these keywords. So now when uh, all the websites and mobile apps which are related to these all keywords my ads will be shown on those uh, you know, websites and mobile apps so I can even write just 
digital marketing so okay so this is also good so now this is a broad range keyword so all the websites and all the apps will come up so the next option with targeting is topic so i need to see if there is any topic which is related to whom i want to show my ads now so arts and entertainment no autos and vehicles no beauty and fitness no books and libraries okay let me check audio books book retailer children ebooks no so nothing is related over here so then business and industrial so let me check mm, advertising and marketing aerospace defense okay then agricultural forestry then automobile industry business education yes i can select uh, business finance business operations i can select uh, business services i can select then any other industry to whom i want to show my ads i can show them so this is what i'm selecting then computers and electronics if there is anything i can uh, show my ads to them also okay so computer hardware computer security computer electronics so uh, electronics and electrical enterprise technology networking programming software so this is not related to us so all these other categories are also not related to me right now so i'll not select this yes under jobs and education i might check uh, and uh, select something so i'll select education over here i'll select internships and jobs so even that can be done so this is it and uh, yes these are the <coughs> uh, targeted topics i can select and i can say done so this is done over here then the last option is pending that is uh, with the help of placement so now i can select the websites uh mobile apps and youtube channels youtube videos everything related to my keywords so maybe first i'll select uh, the my keyword that is uh, digital marketing so here i can select digital marketing and uh, yes uh, then all the websites and uh, other online assets will come up which are related to digital marketing and uh, then i can select the websites and youtube channels which are uh, good they are having very good impressions and everything good subscribers then uh, yes i can show my ads on them so it will take some time because this part of the website takes time so let's wait okay so now there are some websites over here which are related to digital marketing so you can just see on the right hand side you can see uh, this is uh, impressions uh, per week so i can select this website because this is having 5 lakh impressions this is having 2 lakh impression this is having 1 million impression then uh, 3 million impressions and uh, this is 4 lakh uh, 4.5 lakh impressions then this is also 4 lakh impressions okay this is having 3.5 million impressions this is having uh, 2 million impressions then this is having uh, 4 million impressions uh, 1 million impressions then uh, this is 1 million impressions 2.5 lakhs then uh, 5 lakhs over here then uh, 1.5 million so like this i can select if i click on load more then still some websites will come up and uh, i can uh, even select more website so yes i mean if you are just uh, wanting your ads to come up on such big websites then you can select these options over here so otherwise you can go back and uh, select some other options uh, so the next option is youtube channel so all the youtube channels which are related to digital marketing will be showing up over here but uh, don't select the websites which are having one or two thousand subscribers or say two three thousand subscribers select the subscribers which are say more than uh, 5000 10000 then it is good uh, because then there are people to view otherwise in 1000 2000 nobody would be viewing that no so i'll select this this is having 32000 subscribers this is having 1.1 million subscribers now this is having 33000 subscribers this is having 
uh, 20,000 subscribers. This is having 12,000 subscribers. And uh, also one more thing, if you see any other language channels, don't uh, select that also because uh, that also won't help because our content is in English over here. So for that reason, we want only English webs, English channels only. So this is 3,22,000 subscribers. Then uh, over here, 15,000 subscribers. This is uh, 3,700 uh, subscribers. I'll not select that. Then I'll select this. This is also 2,300 uh, subscribers. This is 5.6 thousand. So okay, I can select this. Uh, then maybe I can select uh, this is 18.8 thousand, 18,18,800 subscribers. So like this, I can select uh, the YouTube channel. So my ad will come up on these channels so that is what i can do so yes this is it over here so 1 lakh 91000 6000 no this is 23000 yes i can select so like this i can even click load more and get more uh, youtube channels so that is youtube channels then uh, you can also select youtube videos also uh, where you want to show your ad so for this there is no uh, any criteria you can select uh, any of the videos where you want your ads to come up so that is it and uh, other option is like uh, after youtube videos you will select uh, mobile apps uh, so mobile apps also you can select whichever mobile apps you feel uh, wherever you want uh, you can select all of them except other language uh, videos you will not select Mm. Okay, so like this, you can select uh, the mobile apps. So like this, I've selected apps. So I mean, still there are hundreds of app over here. So I mean, you can keep on selecting. Then comes app categories. So for app categories, I need to remove this keyword because it is related with the category and not the keyword. So over here, there are app categories. So under app categories, let's select the app categories over here. So first one is uh, Apple App Store. So under Apple App Store, I can select uh, the categories where I want my ads to come up. So maybe books, uh, business, catalogs, education, uh, then uh, entertainment. Over here, entertainment is not related to us, but uh, there are more people uh, over there. So over here, we have to select uh, the places where you have more people. It is not uh, related to the category or the keyword. You just select the category which is where you feel that there are more uh, people. So food and drink, uh, health and fitness, lifestyle. I mean, if you want, you can select all of them. Say medical, music, navigation, news. So you can select all of them over here like this. You can see photos, productivity, references, shopping. So like this, you can see there are lots of them. Social media. Yes, don't forget social media. Sports is also there then travel is there travel utility weather okay so that's fine so these were all apps then the windows phone apps i will select all of them because there is no subcategory over here so just windows phone apps and then i need to select the google play store so previously we have selected app store so now all google play store so i'll select all of them so i mean whichever i feel that okay i want to select then i can select them no business communication Comics, I will not select because uh, this is uh, related to small kids, so I will not select comics. Uh, then uh, dating also, I will not select. Education, yes, I will select. I can select enhancement, entertainment. Uh, then events, I can select. Then uh, family, finance, food and drink. So like this, yeah, I mean, you can just select uh, the ones which you feel are good and uh, you feel that there are lots of uh, people over here on these all uh, categories okay so yes shopping social sports productivity 
and uh, then tools, travels, video players, weather. So yes, we have selected all of them. So total, we have selected 102 classifications of the target audience. So this is done, and uh, I'll select done over here. And uh, after that, targeting is on. So over here, use optimized targeting. So I can use optimized targeting over here. So wherever it is possible, we can use. Then uh, I click on next. And then it's finally the time to create the ad. So over here, the first thing is uh, your website URL, then the business name. So that is added automatically for me because I've already run many ads. Then I need to add the images. I can add 15 images. So I'll select images. So if you have already done ads, then uh, you can see the images which you have used in your previous ads. If you have, if you are doing it for the first time, then you can click on upload images. So you can upload it from your PC. So I'll say view all and I'll see all the images that I've used in past. So this is it. So I'll select uh, this image. I will select this image. Then I'll select uh, this image. This one also. Okay, so it will so below are the ones which we have selected. So we have added fourteen and now one more. So let's see what we can add. Okay, so I'll add this. So we have added 15 of them. So I'll click on save. So those 15 images have come up over here. After that, uh, I need to select logo. I can add maximum of five logos. So I've already added two of them over here. Then I can even add videos. So you can see over here videos. So I can click on plus sign and I can add videos. So this videos I can uh, only use from my YouTube channel. So uh, I need I so these are the videos which I've used in past so I can select this I select this one I select uh, let me see what else I can use Okay, so one, two, three, four, four we have selected. I need to add one more. Okay. So I'll select this one once. So five videos are done. So now I can click on save. So now you can see the uh, ads over here which are coming up. So this will refresh and uh, it will uh, shuffle with the uh, text, uh, description, images. So still the text and description we are uh, yet to write. So whatever is added manually, so it will come up. So let's see over here. So over here I need to add headlines, maximum five headlines I can use. So I'll take out my notepad. Hopefully I would be able to take out. Okay, let's see. Okay, there is some problem with mounting the drive. So at this moment, uh, that data is not available. So I need to type it myself only. So fine, let's start.
okay so this first headline we have done so now we add the second one Okay, then we have the next one. And uh, then the last one. Okay, so this is it. So five headlines done. So now I need to write the long description. So that could be a problem. I mean, uh, I need to type over here. Okay, let's see. Okay, it is uh, exceeding, so it is exceeding by six. So let's see what I can remove. I'll remove today. Sorry. Okay, so it is done. Yes. Uh, so this is long headline and uh, now I need to write some description so I'll copy this only. So this is the first uh, headline, I need to add 5. So
okay so two characters are more okay so now it is done so it's okay so now we have uh, added uh, the descriptions as well we have added five of them and uh, now i can say create ad but uh, before that i want to preview my ad so what i do is i can uh, preview my ads so these are the ads that i can see over here so it keeps on refreshing so that's fine so we will uh, we can view the ads later on so i'll say create ad so this is done and uh, now i can click on the next button so after that i need to provide the campaign name over here so that is also added so fine so now i just have to review that's what i was wondering so in review it doesn't come up so this is what we have added all the things but uh, now we have some issue related to targeting that i can see so targeting we have already selected the best ones but so uh, still let me see what are the issues targeting there is some issue so this is okay so keywords is also okay uh, this is also i have selected hmm. Okay, this all looks good. After that, uh, demographics also looks good. Then uh, keywords also is good over here. I don't see any error listed. Then uh, this is by targeted topics and uh, placements and optimized targeting. Okay, I'll uncheck this option. Let's see. And uh, click on next. Still, there is some option uh, error in this targeting. Let me see what is the issue. So, in review, it will it is showing one error. So, audiences error. So, audiences having an error. Let's see what is the error again. It is still loading, but uh, till that time, let us see if anything else comes up. Demographics also okay. This is by keywords, even that is okay. Let me try to see if I can. Uh, I'll remove the. This is the. This is placement. So placement, I don't want to remove. I'll uh, try to remove the topics. the issue is not resolved so I'll clear all first and let's see if this is getting resolved still I don't see any error let me remove the keywords also And uh, let 
me remove everything. Let's see what comes up. This I cannot remove. There is no option to remove all of them together. Now let me see, click on next. Very strange, it's still showing. I mean, I've removed everything, still, it is showing as uh, error. Let me remove this. Still, it's not going. Let me try to remove all of them. From past two days, this is the problem that is coming up. But actually, I don't think there should be any problem because I've run more than hundreds of ads in all these years and uh, such kind of errors I haven't seen from past two to three days uh, or say even more I'm facing this problem. Let's see. It's okay if I don't select any audience, it will go to all of them. So everybody, more people will be able to see my ads. So I mean, it's okay. So because we just want traffic on our website. So it is not necessary that I can select a particular type of audience to see my ad. So even that is fine with me. Mm. Now I say done. Now I've removed completely all the audiences, but still. Let's see. Okay, till that time uh, the ad is not, I mean that is issue is not resolving. I don't think we'll be getting the publish option. So yes, I mean, uh, it's uh, fine. I mean, so, but this is the process of doing the display ad. We will try to do the display ad again uh, in the coming ads also, but uh, this is the way we have to do the display ad. We will try to do the ad again also. I'll uh, click on close and we go back to the campaigns.
sites are missing from three site links are missing from three campaigns okay dismiss all i will do it later this is complicated i don't care i don't think this will improve my performance this is not relevant to my business others so i will say that okay i'll do it later dismiss all your account budget is exhausted okay connect uh, your google account to woocommerce so attract more visits to your online store by connecting your woocommerce so now this can also connect to my website see if i am having products on my website so yes i have courses on my website so then i can also connect my website so instead of going to merchant center so i can even import the products so i can connect my woocommerce uh, over here and uh, i can sell that so even that is a good option so fine at this moment uh, we are not uh, concentrating on those extra things i would be concentrating on creating of the other ads over here so let's see what other ads i can do so i go to campaigns over here and uh, we create a new campaign okay fine so these are in drafts so i select a new campaign i click on new campaign over here so we have done website traffic and uh, display so now let's see what we can do so i click on product and brand consideration so this ad is having only video so we will do a video ad so over here uh, now if i want to get views on my channel or on my video then i can use this get views and influence consideration of your uh, products or brand with uh, skippable in stream ad so we can run skippable in stream ad over here so after 4 to 6 seconds the skip button will come so people can skip that ad so that is it so every time a person will see our uh, ad over here for 4 to 6 seconds then uh, we will get uh, say we have to pay the amount so then our ad will come up and then we have ad sequence so in ad sequence we need to have 3 to 4 uh, series kind of thing say like web series part 1 part 2 part 3 so over here in uh, ad sequence what i can do is say like i'm selling a course course so i'm promoting a course so i will create some introduction to digital marketing uh, say some uh, advertisement over here for uh, people to see what this is so something about the institute and all those things so i mean the type of advertisement that we see promotional advertisement we see on television so like that i can create an ad over here so for maybe 10 15 seconds and i can use it so once a person will see that ad so in that ad i might uh, ask people to enroll in the course so maybe some people will enroll in the course so once uh, the people who have enrolled in the course they will see my ad number two so in that i might be guiding them to something and or uh, they can uh, 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 use how to use and all those things and then i can even ask them to upgrade uh, to some uh, uh, some more enhancement to upgrade something like that some more features that you might be getting so if i select so if uh, the people who have enrolled if they buy something from uh, uh, this uh, ad number two then they will see ad number two three so they will not see the ad number two or ad number one again ever in their life because they have already taken actions on ad number one and ad number two so now they might see ad number three and then if they take some action on that they will see ad number four but the people who did not purchase anything from us they will still keep to seeing the ad number one only so that is called as an ad uh, sequence so that is uh, dependent on the actions that people take on our ad so this is ad sequence so right now we don't have a sequence of uh, videos that we can use so in that maybe you can even show your face in the video and uh, you can create an ad or else uh, you can just create a normal ad uh, uh, using the visuals and uh, audio and uh, you can promote so right now we are not doing ads uh, so that that kind of ad we are doing uh, the ads to get views 
so i will click on continue so if you have a youtube channel or a video then you can use this ad to get more views so this is what i have selected so after that okay so it is coming up okay so now i need to add the campaign name so this is video consideration and uh, i can select what what video so i can say so this is the name and now you can see the bit strategy is cost per view that is cpv so in this uh, whenever a person will view our ads that is for 4 to 6 seconds or full video at that time this, uh, the amount which is there for per view that will be deducted so that is what we can select so previous one we had got conversions and impressions and clicks and uh, viewable impressions all those things over here we are getting views because this is related to a video ad so that is it so now over here i can select the bid strategy that is the cost per view which is i cannot change because it is a video and then over here i can add a campaign total budget or i can select a daily budget so in this ad i have two options in all other ads i had only daily options so in this i can select a campaign total or if i want to continue with the ad so i'll select daily and uh, i'll say 500 rupees over here and uh, that's it and after that i need to provide the start date and end date so i can provide tomorrow's date so i'll select tomorrow's date and the uh, end date can be none so that's fine and networks where exactly i want to show my ads so i can show it on youtube my ads will come up as skippable ads and uh, say video partners on google display network so that is uh, and ads can appear on collection of websites and mobile apps outside of youtube and google so if you want that then you can select so it is highly recommended that you use it so we use that and uh, under the uh, location i mean you can remove all this location and you can select india so because that doesn't uh, matter uh, because this is a video because you are promoting your video so videos can be seen from across india or you can even see all uh, countries also so i mean even that is good but yes i mean you need to have more budget because this budget might get exhausted maybe within an hour or so or maybe half an hour because from whole world uh, people will be seeing the ad so right now i'll just select india languages all languages selected and then related videos so along with the main ad uh, that i'm uh, promoting as a skippable ad i can add two additional videos so related to it so i mean i'm getting a chance to promote two additional videos that i need to select from my youtube channel so let's see what i can select over here So there are various videos which are coming up from my channel. So I will select uh, this video and uh, maybe something else also. I just need to select or I can manually go to YouTube and paste the URL over here but it's fine so I'll select this one also over here so two videos are done so I'll say done so these two videos will be promoted along with uh, my the main video which will come up as a skippable ad so this is it and uh, then I scroll down and the product feed so again that Google Merchant uh, Center product feed which I had uh, selected so if I want to promote my products uh, over here, then I can select this option, but I don't have products, so I can uncheck this option. So below YouTube or say in the search or on the right hand side, uh, my, uh, these products will be displayed on the channel. So that can be done. So this is it. And then additional channel settings. So over here, the devices. So last time we had selected what all devices I want my ads to come up. So like on specific targeting, like operating systems and android versions and android devices models and all those things so 
we select we have selected show on all devices so that is what we are going to keep over here so over here there is one extra thing that is uh, say on smart tv so over here we have a smart tv tv also over here that is tv screen is coming up over here because uh, youtube is available on uh, smart tv also so that is fine so even the traffic from smart tv is calculated so then the frequency capping so we are not keeping any limitations uh, on the number of times people can see our ad so here this is cap impression frequency so limit how many times so uh, that ad in this campaign can show into to the same user so how many times you want to show your ads uh, to the same person uh, in this campaign so that is the cap impressions and uh, this is view impression so limit how many times so uh, that ad in the campaign can uh, get a view or interaction from the same user so how many times a person can view or also interact uh, from the same at the same from the same user so that is the difference over here but i mean uh, we are not selecting the frequency so this will limit uh, the ad frequency that is going to come up then add schedule so we can select the schedule over here so now this is a video ad so i'll select all days 24 hours so that is 12 am to 12 am so that's fine and uh, third party measurements so i don't think there is any third party measurement over here yes there is nothing over here so i can ignore this and uh, then i need to provide the group name so i provide the group name so whatever i selected as a campaign name so that is uh, uh, say helpopedia or oh, yeah so that is what i'm selecting and uh, then my demographics uh, that all things like we selected in other ads so now this is going, this is a video so i want more views so over here i'm not going to restrict uh, any people over here to see my video so i can select all of them so that's fine but yes i mean if you're promoting something related to your business like you're promoting your digital marketing course then again you don't want the other people to see so i'll remove 65 plus 55 and uh, i'll keep it only till 44 over here this all everything rest uh, remains is good so remaining is good and then audience segment so in case i want to select the type of audiences uh, who can see my ads so in this case it is not necessary that you select all these uh, audiences type because this is a video we want uh, more views more, say more interactions so i will not select this uh, let that uh, ad go to everywhere and uh, even keywords topics and placements you can say you i mean uh, if you want you can select the topics and placements and all those things but uh, as such it's not required because it is a video so i'll just enter digital marketing course and uh, it will fetch the keywords so then i can select the keywords over here so whatever i'm adding it's getting added on the left hand side so that's done so this is it and then if you want to select by topics so i don't want to select by topics i can select by placement so in placement uh, maybe i can uh, select youtube channels or uh, say youtube videos i can select or youtube uh, lineup so i mean whatever we selected in the li last app the same thing we can select over here uh, for our video so that was for the display advertisement this is for the youtube uh, i mean the video ad uh, video ads it is coming up so that is it over here uh, so i can have websites and apps and all those things but uh, say if you want to manually select then you can enter the url so you can enter multiple urls over here for all the websites that you want your ad to come up all the websites where you want to come up then all, the, all youtube channels and uh, all uh, uh, videos youtube videos where you want to come your ad so that can be done over here so that is manually ent entering the urls of the videos mobile apps and uh, the websites where you want your ads to come up so this is it over here related to placements if you want you can select over here or else you can keep it okay you can keep it blank and uh, after that mm, over here you can add your main url where, which you want to promote as your uh, 
main YouTube ad. So for this, I'll go to my YouTube account. So I'll go to my YouTube channel. And then I can select a video from here. Okay, so let's see with which video we can add. Okay, I mean, I can select this also. Let me see this one. Okay, yes, I can select this. So I'll copy this URL and I'll use it over here. So that video will come up as my main advertisement so i can select a skippable ad or in feed video ad so in feed video ad will come up at the bottom of the search or on the top right hand side corner where the video is playing so on dot that page it will come but i want my ad on the main screen of the youtube that is skippable ads so i can use this and then final url could be the url of the uh, youtube channel so that i need to add and uh, i can add a call to action see over here there is no call to action so in case if i want i can add a call to action so that can be like uh, you know, say start now watch now buy now sign up so i can use sign up also over here or maybe even get quote and all those things i can select or maybe sign up also over here so yes sign up would be a good option instead of buy now i would say sign up now and uh, then I can provide the uh, over here we need to provide the URL and all those things is done so headline I need to provide let's see the headline so enter okay okay this is not the so i mean you can put whatever you want uh, see over here you can see help opd id tech is coming up so that is the headline so i don't want that to uh, spoil because over here there is only 15 characters and this help opd id tech is more than 15 characters so by default it is taking the channel url so we can keep that so that is not mandatory over here then auto generate using your channel banner so it will come up on the top right hand side corner so or else we can upload it or uh, we can also use the ones which are already uh, uh, we have used so these are the three things that we can use so i will select this we, uh, image over here and uh, this is the ad name so that is the same thing like uh, products and uh, brand consideration and uh, this is for uh, say the video channel video promotion that is for the name of the channel okay so this is done and the uh, ad creation one ad so this is the ad that we have created and then uh, i need to add the bid so like i had mentioned that uh, we can add the uh, per view so that is compulsory that i need to add so when people are uh, viewing your ad, so that is the skippable ad when people are viewing at that time, uh, say they, they need to play minimum of four seconds uh, after that only they can skip. So now till the time they uh, say they see the ad till the skippable button. So for that, uh, how much amount I need to pay? So I mean, if the ad is very good and uh, it is very attractive, then people will continue to watch the full ad also. So that is good. So how much amount we are ready to pay for viewing full ad or till the four seconds till the skippable button comes up. So I would say that I want to pay one rupee over here. So that is it. So over here your budget, uh, your bid is set to an amount that can improve your campaign uh, potential reach and performance. So one rupee is fine over here. Otherwise uh, I would have got an error like apply this much amount over here. That is the minimum amount that you need to use. So this is the maximum cpv that is cost per view bid 
in the highest amount uh, that is what we are willing to pay for someone to view your video ad so i'm paying one rupee over here and then i can say create campaign so i can click on this create campaign so now the campaign will be created and uh, then let's see over here your congratulations your campaign is ready so this is what uh, the viewing review process is there so after review process if you feel everything is good you can continue or else uh, you can uh, uh, say directly publish the ad so i can say continue to the campaign so now our campaign is done over here you can see this is the campaign so at this moment this is the ad over here so i would uh, go to again i go to all campaigns uh, from there i will select our campaign over here which is uh, say uh, video concentration so i select this then after that i will select the ad group that is video concentration and then i will select the ad which we just added so that is product and brand concentration over here so now i can just click on this ad and i can see how does that ad look like so you can see this is the type of ad which is coming up it will show up like this so this is of the small mobile devices over here so this is how it will look then on uh, say computer screens it will look like this and uh, on desktops it will look like this so this is it and uh, yes i mean if i want to see how my ad will look on uh, youtube then i can directly say preview your ad on the, uh, youtube so this is what I can select. So now over here I can see this. So over here you can see it is uh, the seconds are coming up over here. So after uh, four seconds, uh, say now skip ad will come up and now this over here the name of the company and our util URL and the call to action that we had selected was sign up. So now this sign up is coming up. So people can click over here and they can uh, sign up. So it will take them to our uh, channel. So this is how uh, the ad becomes. So this was a demo video. <clears throat> so like this, my ad will come up in YouTube. And uh, yes, that's it. So our ad is already published. So now it is uh, under review right now. So once the once it is reviewed, and uh, then after reviewing, the ad will start to play. Uh, if we have a balance in our account so that is the ad over here that we have done today <clears throat> so what we will be doing is we will be uh, say doing the next ad in the next session so now we are left with uh, two and three ads so we'll be doing that so yes two ads mostly so we'll be doing those ads and we will also do the display ad which uh, did not go well today so that's fine so we'll do it again so till that time i would uh, request you to practice everything because without practice you will not get to know um, uh, how these ads are going to work so please practice and let me know if you face any difficulty so that's it from my end so if you have any questions you can let me know no sir as of now no questions sir we'll practice and we'll let you know sir about yeah. the questions so please practice and also show me what are things you have practiced so it will be better so yes fine. sir yeah so fine see you in the next session i think uh part more disconnected okay no yes uh, she, he has left this this now okay fine not a problem so fine see you in the next session then goodbye sure sir yeah, goodbye, sir.